the re first repair that we're going to do today we call a worn edge. On this actual door, it's painted, so the painted worn edge is worn down to the wood. What we're going to try to do is just replace that color. The tools we're going to use, quick clean, you're going to see that a lot. We just want to make sure that that door is completely clean, doesn't have any dust on it, doesn't have any grease on it. We're going to use a white marker to replace the color on that worn edge. And if need be, we have marker remover. If I happen to go a little too far or go onto the center of the panel, the marker remover will remove the white marker. So first step, small amount of quick clean on a rag and really a quick wipe. You just want to make sure that there's nothing on the surface of the wood. Secondly, We're going to be using the white marker and we want to make sure that the white marker is wet enough but also not too wet. So I'm just going to draw a couple lines. Looks pretty good. Now when I draw the line, I'm, trying, I'm not going to try to do it without touching the door. If you do that, your hand's shaky a little bit, at least mine is. So I like resting my hand and drawing the marker towards me. And it will look something like this. One nice even stroke. When that marker fluid dries, if you want to go over it again, you can. Let me give you one word of advice. Sometimes when you're doing a repair, it looks better, better, better. And if you keep working at it, it looks worse, worse, worse. So know when to say when. If it's not noticeable anymore, and right now it's not noticeable, stop, and you're done. The next product I want to show you is a marker removal. And that's just in case you're making your line and you go off your line onto the panel. You could use the marker remover in one of two ways. I'm just getting the fluid to the top of the marker. You could just use it as a marker and wipe away the excess. If you're doing it on a bigger area, put it onto the cloth, get the cloth nice and wet, and have the cloth take off the marker. Yes, sometimes this even works on a dry erase board that someone used a Sharpie marker on, but we really designed it for this or for glazing. Sometimes you do a, a little bit of a glaze marker on the door. That's why that was designed. 